Hello there. Welcome to AWS Tech Guide. Today in this session, I will tell you how to install Jenkins in Azure Virtual Machine. We will be creating a virtual machine in Azure first. After that, we'll connect the virtual machine with PuTTY from Windows system. And we will install Jenkins in that virtual machine. So let's go to Azure portal first. I am logged in into my Azure portal. Go to virtual machine and click on this virtual machine icon. Click on add. Select the resource group. If you have already one resource group created, then you can select it or otherwise click on create new. You just add your name here and your resource group will be created. But since I have the resource group created, I am selecting the existing one. Now, virtual machine name. So just give a name of your virtual machine. Here, let me give DevOps. Select a region. Well, uh, here I am selecting US East. And let's change the size. Because I need a standard general purpose virtual CPU of two CPU at least and four GB of RAM. So I'm selecting this. And you can check the cost. Let's click on select. Done. And select password in your authentication type. Add one username. Scroll down. Click on review and create. Validation passed. Now scroll down. Click on create. As you see now, your deployment is complete. Now let's go to resource. And our virtual machine is running now. Now we will be connecting this virtual machine from PuTTY. And I assume that you have PuTTY installed in your system. So let's open PuTTY. Copy this public IP address. Add your hostname as this public IP address. Click on open. Select yes. Enter password. And now we are connected to the virtual machine we have created just now. Now our next task is to install Jenkins in this system. I have consolidated few commands which we will be using for installing this Jenkins. Let me take you to the Git repository. Open your GitHub and if you go to github.com aws take guide slash devops you will get few scripts file jenkins dash ubuntu dot sh click on that and it will open the commands we have for installing jenkins now click on this raw button Copy the URL from here and let's go back to our PuTTY where we have connected this. Let me make the screen a bit bigger.
first become the root user type sudo space su space dash you are now root user We are just running the commands one after another. Now run the command to install OpenJDK 8. Yes. It will take few minutes to install, so we will come back after that. Now it is at 98% and completed. Our open JDK installation has been done. Now we will install Jenkins into the system. Enter yes. It will take few minutes to install Jenkins. Okay, now our Jenkins installation has been done. Now we will start the Jenkins. Run this command sudo systemctl start Jenkins. It has started. Now check the status. sudo systemctl status Jenkins. Great. So it has started. Now our next task is since Jenkins works on HTTP port 8080, we have to open that port in our virtual system. So let's go back to our VM we created. Our DevOps VM. Go to networking on the left side panel. Click on add inbound port rule. Destination port ranges 8080. Everything is fine. Just you can add the description Jenkins port and click on add. Now let's go back to our browser and check whether we are able to get our Jenkins or not. Copy the private IP, uh, public IP from here, your virtual system, paste it in your browser and 8080. Here is our Jenkins. To find the password, let's go to this location. Copy this location.
as you see inside this initial admin password we have this password so you have to copy it and paste it here we'll go by this install suggested plugin Click on this. Now create one username and password. Save and continue. Now it is our URL. You can just copy it. Save and finish. Your Jenkins setup is complete. Click on start using Jenkins. And here we go. Congratulations, you have created your Jenkins in the virtual system which we created in Azure. In next lecture, I will show you how to set up Sonar Cube in an AWS EC2 instance. For any question or query, please feel free to post in comments. See you in next lecture.